When Clayton Brander bought a used 2013 Nissan Leaf, he knew the battery would need to be replaced at some point. Now his car won't go as far on a charge, so the time has come, and so has a problem. I can't find out how to get a battery. I can't find out how much a replacement battery would cost, even though rough estimates that are being given by people on the floor say in excess of $15,000, which is more than I paid for the vehicle three years ago. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now today we have a compelling story that serves as a cautionary tale for anyone considering buying a used hybrid or electric car. And it's a story that involves unexpected expenses, warranty limitations, and the importance of thorough research. I can't say that enough. No, our story revolves around Lucas Turner a valley man who found himself facing a staggering bill for a hybrid battery replacement. Now, before we delve into the details, let's acknowledge the shock factor here. Lucas's hybrid battery replacement cost him a jaw-dropping $20,744.90. Yes, you heard that right. The initial purchase price of his car three years ago was $16,000. Now, Let's get into this video. To the new world and the cost of living expenses. Now, how does a battery replacement end up costing more than the entire car itself? And it's not just about the cost, it's about understanding the potential risk when buying a used hybrid or electric vehicle. Now, the key takeaway here is that these batteries are expensive to replace and warranties also have limitations, typically lasting eight years or 100,000 miles. Over three years ago, one of my very first videos I did was was about a 2013 Nissan Leaf that wanted a battery. Let's revisit the video. When Clayton Brander bought a used 2013 Nissan Leaf, he knew the battery would need to be replaced at some point. Now his car won't go as far on a charge, so the time has come, and so has a problem. I can't find out how to get a battery. I can't find out how much a replacement battery would cost, even though rough estimates that are being given by people on the floor say in excess of fifteen thousand dollars which is more than i paid for the vehicle three years ago he's tried three local repair shops two nissan dealerships and nissan canada repeatedly for weeks the only concrete suggestion from nissan so far buy a brand new leaf it seems like these things are going to end up in the landfill i'm going to have to replace it which means all the greenhouse gas conservation is out the window. Introducing the 100% electric Nissan LEAF. Innovation for the planet. Lots of love for the environment in Nissan's commercials, but there wasn't much love on the part of American LEAF owners who launched a class action lawsuit over the battery capacity in early models. The suit was settled, but the resolution is no help to people like Clayton Brander. I think Nissan should be quite loyal to some of these early adopters because it helped them to get the car out on the market, get some acceptance and grow from there. This electric vehicle engineering professor says nowadays batteries are built to last. The battery will actually outlive the car by a long stretch. Nissan Canada said in a statement to CBC News it's hopeful to find a resolution to Clayton Brander's problem, but wouldn't say how or at what cost. Brander needs a solution quickly. He's hesitant to even turn on the heat in the car these days because that too uses his limited battery power. And remember, this was over three years ago. But we have to emphasize the need for buyers to confirm a battery's health before making a purchase for a used hybrid or electric vehicle. And just last week, I had a similar video showing EV repair and insurance will frustrate you. It's on my channel. You can link in the video description. And it emphasized how a Hyundai EV owner was shocked by the repair estimate of his Hyundai electric vehicle. Let's take a look right here. Electric fan. And I want to get another electric vehicle, but from Hyundai, this has really put a bad taste in my mouth towards them. Hyundai's 2017 Ionic was launched in New York with great fanfare in 2016. The Ionic Electric. A hybrid version and a fully electric model bought by Such. He was the second owner, but the car still had lots of warranty left on the electrical system and battery at the time. And since Such had previously owned a different electric vehicle, he was a believer. I didn't have any issues with my first vehicle, so 
thought it would be the right avenue to try a second vehicle. He had no issues with the car until this happened. I had an EV light come on. I had taken it to the shop. They couldn't find anything wrong. But there was indeed a problem. Two weeks after that, the vehicle stopped charging. The dealership in Hamilton said he needed the battery replaced. The quote stunned him. I was provided a quote at $50,000. Between the battery installation and taxes, it totaled just over $50,000. I was just floored. So what you're seeing here is that the older the vehicle gets, the more expensive the batteries are going to be. And you have to take into consideration labor, material, and everything else it costs to properly build those batteries and most of those batteries are built at the time of the production of the car they're not going to build them and have them sitting down on a shelf waiting and hoping for when the battery goes bad they're built on a first come first serve basis and also just in time production now lucas's situation could have been avoided with a proper inspection and according to nerd wallet the cost to replace a hybrid battery typically ranges between one thousand and eight thousand dollars depending on the make and model of the vehicle so there's a clear discrepancy between the range and lucas's twenty thousand dollar bill let's continue with lucas here i'm always curious why the batteries seem to go bad immediately after the warranty period has passes and it raises questions about fair pricing and whether there are alternative sources for these batteries that are more budget friendly where they can actually go and purchase elsewhere i'm not sure if aftermarket suppliers are actually building these but manufacturing these batteries rather as yet for most of these models they should research potential replacement costs the cost of ownership right there a lot of people haven't even reached that situation because EVs are relatively new and we're still ironing out all the bugs that to have these cars up and running. However, it seems that the second and the third owner are going to be stuck with a heavy bill for these batteries whenever they go bad. How dare you? Now let's discuss the broader implications and what listeners and viewers can take away from this story. Firstly, if you're considering a used hybrid or electric car, invest in a pre-purchase inspection to assess the battery's condition. And it's a crucial step that can save you from unforeseen expensive down the road and for those who already own a hybrid or electric vehicle be aware of your warranty coverage and explore the potential replacement costs in case you encounter issues after the warranty period additionally buyers should research alternative sources for hybrid batteries to ensure they are not being overcharged this is a market that's evolving and awareness is key to making informed decisions and finally Always keep in mind that like any vehicle, unexpected repair costs can arise. It's a part of ownership. So let's hope for the best, but always prepare for the worst. Let me know your thoughts below. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please smash that like button on your way out. It'll only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.